Hi, this is Mary Eve with the Purdue Extension Office in Harrison County, Indiana. And Merry Christmas! Today we are going to be making a Christmas tree ornament of felt and buttons. And as a part of the Saturday with Santa kit that we are making available to our 4-H minis, this will be in the kit along with all of the items that you need to make the Christmas tree. So here we are in our package and we have a pattern which doesn't look like much the way it looks. We have a ribbon that you can use to make three ornaments, embroidery floss which is plenty to also make three ornaments, cotton balls and you're probably asking what the heck are these for but it's to give the ornament a little bit of puff, a three dimension to it rather than just being flat. You have a little piece of tan for the trunk of the tree and in it you will find an embroidery needle. And always with an embroidery needle you want to play it safe and whenever you put it down or you're not using it, put it into a piece of colored felt. And it will keep both the needle and you safe. You'll find 15 colored buttons and these will be your ornaments on your tree and you have two rectangles of felt. One a darker green and one what I call Grinch green. Okay, so let's get working on our tree. Okay, in your packet you have a pattern. It doesn't look like much of anything right now, but what I want you to do is to cut along the outer lines of the pattern. And we'll go ahead and get that started. And when you're done cutting your pattern, you'll end up with this odd shape right here. Okay, this is actually enough to make six cutouts of trees. So we're going to make one more cut on our pattern. And it will be down this long line that goes down the center of the paper. Okay, then you want to take one of your green rectangles, lay the pattern down on it, and we're going to need something to secure the pattern as you're cutting it. Now I have what's called straight pins, and these we just poke through the paper, and you want to try and put at least two per tree so that they stay in place as you're cutting them. Now, if you don't have straight pins at home, it is okay to use substitutes. So here I'm using safety pins, or I have a paper clip over here. With the paper clip, your paper is going to move a tad bit, so you want to make sure that you're holding this very securely as well. Your paper shouldn't move if you're using either the safety pins or the straight pins. So we'll get to cutting this. Like I said, with the paper clip, you want to make sure that you're holding it very tightly against the felt and just cut along the rest of the lines in the pattern. Like so. And there you see our Christmas tree. So I've got two of them cut out. Now I take the patterns off, and you want to keep these so that you can use them again. And what we're going to do is to take our buttons and decide where we're going to put them on our Christmas tree. So you have enough buttons in your pack to do five buttons per Christmas tree. And you'll notice buttons have a very flat side then they have another side that's slightly rounded. The slightly rounded side is the top side of the button. So before I sew my buttons on, I'm going to decide where I want them on my tree. And kind of spread them out a little bit. Make sure that you leave enough room along the edges because we're going to be stitching along those edges. So I kind of like where these are at right now. I'm going to leave them on this tree 
and end up sewing them onto this tree. So I'm taking my needle, going to leave it in the floss for just a second. Now your floss, embroidery floss, is green in your package. This is red so that you can see what I'm doing on the tree. Embroidery floss is actually made up of six separate threads. And we are going to use two of the threads as we are sewing. So we're going to separate two threads off of the six. And you want to do this very slowly. And I'm lifting it up a little bit. I mm, can't see it on camera right now. But I'm slowly pulling this apart. If you do it too quickly, you're going to end up knotting your thread. Okay, so you can see the thread's a little twisted. And that's because it was twisted in with all the other six threads. So what I'm going to do is one more time separate these threads and then we're going to put them back together. So otherwise, we will, our threads will be twisting. Okay, before you put them back together, run your fingers along the thread to get out some of the kinks. And do that with the other thread. Then put them back together. And then we are ready to thread our needle. Okay, so this is going to sound a little gross. You have to put this part of the thread into your mouth and dampen it just a little bit, okay? Then you have your needle, which I'm taking out of the felt since I'm going to use it. And a lot of people, the first time they try to thread a needle, will hold the thread way out like this, thinking that they can get it into the needle. But what happens is the thread bends it won't go through the eye of your needle. The best way to do it is to pull the thread so it's tight between your finger and your thumb so you can barely see it sticking out. Line up the eye of your needle just right above the thread, give it a little jiggle, and it goes right through. Now I'm using my thread as if you do an embroidery so you have a short piece of your thread here, and on the other end, a long piece of your thread, you want to tie a small knot. Now it's not like you knot your sneakers. Okay, you're going to wrap it around your finger, put the loose part on top of your finger, and just pull the loop over so that you end up with a small knot and then try to push it towards the end without making it go undone. And it's a very small knot, but we'll, we're okay with that. So we're going to take our tree that doesn't have the buttons and poke the needle through from the back. Pull the thread through and don't pull it too hard or else your knot will come out of the back. Oops, just lost all my buttons. But I know about where they're gonna be. So we're sliding a button down the thread and we're going to sew this on with about four stitches. So we're gonna go in and out four times. And as you're pulling the thread through, put your thumb on this top thread because this will keep it from knotting on you because you're working with a very long piece of thread. And when it's on the back side, put your finger right here. And that will do the same thing. Two.
free. And four. So we have four stitches, that button's pretty secure. So we'll go on and we'll do the rest of the buttons. Okay, we've got all of our buttons on there. Now we're going to put our two Christmas trees together. And I didn't mention it that as I was putting on the buttons, I made sure not to pull the threads too tight in between the buttons because then it would all kind of like bunch up like this. And you want your tree to be nice and flat. So we're going to put our other tree behind this one. And if you like, you can go ahead and put a stick pin in there. Just be careful you don't stick yourself to help keep them together as you are sewing. Now on this tree we are sewing along the outside and we're going to try to make nice even stitches. And you see I keep, kept my thread back behind where the buttons are. And nice even stitches are not the easiest thing to do. So you want to take your time and try to line up your stitches as you go. And when we get towards the top, we're going to stop because we need to put our ribbon at the top so that we can hang our ornament. So I'm going to continue stitching. Okay, I'm up towards the top right now. So I'm going to get a piece of ribbon. And the ribbon that you get in your kit is 12 inches long. And if you don't have a ruler handy to measure out four inches on your ribbon, and what you're wanting to do is to get three pieces of ribbon. So all I did is layer these over at the top and pull the sides a little bit till I have three pieces of ribbon that are the same size. I'm going to cut one of the loops and there's my four inch ribbon. So to make this ribbon at the top, we're just going to make a quick loop and then these ends are going to go inside the tree. Not underneath, we want it inside so that nobody sees it. And if you're afraid of it falling out, you can go ahead and put a stick pin in that. And if you're, if you're okay with that, then you can just hold on to it as you're stitching. And I'll go ahead and put a stick pin in there. Now you can see that I'm kind of running out of thread, but I still have this tail that we left on there. So I'm going to pull this out a little bit, still leaving a tail there. But I have to be careful when I stitch to hold near the eye of the needle so that as I'm pulling my thread through, I'm not pulling it out of the eye of the needle. So we're going to continue stitching. It'll be a little harder stitching through the ribbon. Okay, now I'm getting close to the end of my thread here, and I don't want to go so far that I can't tie a knot in the thread, and also that I can't hold the thread into the eye of the needle. So what I'm going to do is just pretend to make this top stitch and only go through the top layer And then I can either make a knot with the needle and thread. 
And it doesn't want to cooperate. There we go. And try to make sure that your knot goes all the way down to where you were stitching. Or you can just take the thread out, put your needle in your felt, and separate your two pieces here and just tie a couple of knots, which would probably be easier for you guys. And then tuck your threads inside. And when we come to the end of the other one, our, we won't have an inside because we're going to sew it shut. So I'll show you what to do there, okay? All right, now we're getting to the point where we need to put our cotton balls or cotton ball inside of the tree and then also the little trunk. So I'm gonna take my cotton ball and kind of stretch it out because we don't want a big lump in the middle of our tree. and put it inside the hole at the bottom. Kind of tuck it on the inside and you need to make sure that you have some space here at the bottom so that you can sew it shut. And also I'm going to take part of the felt that my needle is in right now, measure off a bit for the trunk. Now you want to make sure that you have some tucked up inside because you're going to sew it at the same time that you sew off the bottom. And put it right about in the middle. So now we're going to re-thread our needle and sew the rest of this up. So I'm going to pull off two more pieces of thread out of our embroidery floss. Do it slowly. And since this is all twisted up, I'm gonna untwist it a bit and then pull these apart and put them back together. I'm running my fingers over both separate pieces of floss before I put them back together. Line up the ends so you can get them through the needle. Remember, don't do it like this. Make it so the thread just barely see it through your fingers. Line up the eye of the needle and just squish them through. Short tail we leave there. Long tail we're going to tie our knot. Thread around your finger. Bring it up over the end of your finger and pull it through the loop. Okay, I'm going to start back from the inside. And we're just going to finish sewing our stitches. Make sure you keep your thumb on the top and your finger on the back as you're pulling through your stitches so you don't get any knots. Okay, so we've got all of our stitching done. And I don't often stitch by hand, but uh, my stitches are okay. <laughs> I can live with those. The back is not gonna be as pretty as the front because you don't see it as you're working. So we're going to tie a knot way down towards the bottom here. And all I'm doing is tying it with the needle and the floss 
and try to get it as close as you can to the bottom closest to the tree. So we have a small knot down there. Then what I'm going to do is to bring my needle through the back of the tree and give it a quick little pull so that that knot is now on the inside of the tree so no one can see it. And if you can't do that and you just tie a knot, that's okay too. So there we have our finished Christmas tree. And that's what you have in your kit. You have enough to make three of these. You can make a dark colored one and a light colored one. And then you'll end up with one that's both dark and light. Or you can make them all both dark and light. Now if you happen to lose your pattern or you would like to make something else and you have bits of felt or material at home, you can use cookie cutters as a pattern for the tree. And I have two examples right here. This is a little gingerbread cookie cutter. Um, and these are just buttons that I had at home and I'm sure either your mom or your grandma probably has some spare buttons. And then this one was made with a snowman cookie cutter. And the top hat and the carrot nose and the scarf are just glued on, whereas everything else is sewn on. And so have fun, make some cute little ornaments. And if you don't want to put them on your tree, you can put them on a package and give to somebody and then they can use it on their tree. So have a Merry Christmas and happy sewing.